on like the top floor now. I think I'm on like the fifth floor of this tower building. It's insane, man. I can't get over this. And I'm by myself. Oh, we found him? Yes. God has blessed me today, guys. Look. This is what I've been looking for. Look, look, look. Look at this. Main control room. Look up, look, look. Oh my god. Yes. So I'm just letting you guys know right now, I don't know anything about nuclear reactors, but I just been to Chernobyl and I did research on radiation, what it causes to the people and to the environment. But I never learned about an actual nuclear power plant. So all this stuff I'm exploring and looking at, I don't exactly know what it is. <sighs> Sorry. But I will say that this place still has power on. Throughout the whole place there is power on in this building. And that's very weird. But the reason why there's power still on in this building is because if they shut power off in this building, every other building connected to this building would have to be shut off too because they're all connected to one power line. So that's the reason why this place is still running. This place is like a maze and to top it off, I'm by myself. So it's actually really scary to be inside a nuclear power plant by yourself, I must say. Off gas. I wish I knew what everything was here. But for those of you who have ever worked in nuclear power plants, you guys must be like, holy shit, what is going on here? Here are some of the dates. June 30th, 1994. Phase B, metering, relaying, and synchronizing. Man, these must do some damage. <laughs> it's so weird to be exploring an abandoned power plant that the freaking lights and power is still on. There were items here. There was machine equipment here. What I can think happened was it got stolen and scrapped or the government of this place sold it. Look at all these controls and buttons that are removed. That's what I'm thinking like either the government scrapped it and sold it because this place became useless or people came in and kind of just, you know, scrapped it. Sample temperature, sample pressure. There are so many things I do not know. I feel stupid. Conductivity recorder. What the heck is that? <laughs> At least it was reading something, some kind of meter. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is, a con this is definitely some sort of control room, but it just feels like I'm freaking in like World War II or something. All these buttons are all over the place. Jeez. I don't even want to touch it just in case. It's insane to see all this stuff. Not even like graffitied, vandalized, nothing. Unbelievable. I'm mind blown, man. Talk about a freaking crazy abandoned place. I mean, who leaves a, an abandoned nuclear power plant just sitting here? Oh, what's this? Uh, just light bulbs and light fixtures. Some sort of acid tank and waste meter pump. There's even like a caution sign right here. I wonder what was going on. Wow, all the circuit boards are gone. All these freaking electronical components everywhere, wires, it's insane. Whoa, this is crazy. These are BioShield wall blocks. Unbelievable. Look at this. These stop like contamination leaks and to spread through walls. These walls are just fucking ins These walls are just freaking insane. They're called bio walls. I never even knew that. They're just pure concrete. Here's how the walls look standing. You even have a freaking tank over it. Not only do you have the concrete, but you got a steel plate around it. That is so sick. The crazy thing is, there's so many of them. All these are just walls to protect radiation leaks and just to keep it inside so it doesn't contaminate anywhere else. Whoa. Look at these. 
This is all one big long pipe. I'm sitting in the middle of it. Look, it goes all the way down over here. It would connect. There was three of them. Right here was all the pig. Long pipe that connected. Right here's the roof of this one. This place is a freaking maze, man. It's so big. This was the lube oil tank area. Look at all the oil on the floor. Look at their boots, yo. Contamination boots and stuff like that. See, the lube oil. All these things I'm walking through, I'm just imagining like how people just created this in general, just man-made created all these objects and put it together to create a nuclear power plant. Look how tall this whole place is. It's insane. I'm not even scared. <laughs> oh man. I'm definitely gonna remember this place for the rest of my life, coming here. Like, yeah, I've been inside a nuclear reactor that's abandoned with power. Who hasn't? I don't understand. I don't understand why people would actually just throw everything down here and smash it. For what reason would they do that? Looks like a science lab. It's not, but I'm just saying it looks like a science lab. I wonder what was inside here. Chloride standard. Restricted use chemical. Use only in chemistry lab. Oh, so we are, we're in a chemistry lab. Looks like a science lab, yeah, a chemistry lab. <laughs> Whoa, this is insane. Some of the chemicals are right here. This is like if you get something in your eyes, you spray it on you like, you know, you save yourself, water comes out. And the shower is more of a, right here is like an emergency thing. So right here is an emergency. So if you get chemicals on you, you just spray yourself down, and this one's for your eyes. It's emergency though. Only use it if you need to. Oh my god, all the jars. Jeez. I'm so curious, I wanna look at everything. I'm so, I'm just like, I'm trying to learn everything. Ammonia, how to drive. Whoa, dissolved oxygen. Hey, they must have had a spill here. This is for like a chemical spill, I think. Huh. Look at these. I don't even wanna to touch them just in case I get chemicals on my hands, but. I wonder why there was a door like that here. I cannot believe how freaking big this place is, everyone. I don't know where I'm going. I'm completely lost. I'm looking for a certain room. There's a control room I'm looking for. It has power on it. I wanna take a cool picture there, and I just can't find it. I did not expect this place to be so big. It is ridiculous. Everywhere I go, there's a room. I feel like I'm underground right now. I don't even know it. It's unbelievable. Well, we found keys to the place, and even a worker's hat. Damn, now where am I? Sorry if I moved the camera so much, guys. I'm just lost and I just want to find that room. <laughs> it's like the most epic, godly, abandoned room I'll ever find. I'm on like the top floor now. I think I'm on like the fifth floor of this tower building. It's insane, man. I can't get over this. And I'm by myself. Oh, I found it, yes. God has blessed me today, guys, look. This is what I've been looking for, look, look, look. Look at this, main control room. Look up, look, look. 
Oh my god. Yes. This is amazing. Definitely the best control room out of any abandoned place I've ever found because it's a freaking nuclear reactor control room. Yeah. The lights are still on, dude. I'm not touching a single button. I'm just so amazed. I found it. This is the kind of things that just completely amp me up, man. It's so, like, exciting to find this stuff. I'm not the first, obviously. But I'm definitely one of the few. Damn, look at these TVs. Wow. This is the main control room. I mean, this is like where all the magic's happening. Where all the reactors getting controlled, everything's getting powered. All those stuff we've been exploring before we got here is all run right here. I mean, I don't know how to use any of this stuff. All these buttons, I don't know what anything means. <laughs> I mean, I, I know a few, but still. <laughs> I can only imagine working here. Oh. <laughs> This feels awesome. Wow. Uh, I was like, imagine if these turn on. I'm trying to look in there. <sighs> Whew, it's so hot in here. Oh, what? Damn. So impressive. Just circling around it. Here's an overview of this freaking reactor. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one more time, <clears throat> just in case. Here's an overview of this whole reactor. So massive. Okay, so I've been literally circling around this place non-stop. Circle around the reactor, going up level, circling around those reactors. I keep going up, and I'm just circling around this whole damn thing. And then look what I find, an actual vault way in. Look at, unbelievable. And the crazy thing is, look at this door. It's a concrete, like, block sealed door. And then here's a vault that seals it too. That's how secure this thing is. Dude, unbelievable. I can't believe I'm walking in here. Yo. Oh my freaking God. Look at this. We are in the heart of the reactor. The chamber of secrets. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, who can say they walk through this, you know? Unbelievable. Man. Inside there lies like death, if it was active and running, of course, but you know, it's not. So we're safe. But look at his, how it looks from the outside. Wow. It's like a freaking spaceship almost, you know? I mean, it's unbelievable. I'm trying to look up. Another thing is, like I said, it is so freaking hot in here. We've, I've been exploring here for like the past five hours. I don't have much footage, but I've just been literally just walking around and looking at everything. I'm just so curious about everything in here. I can't believe I just came out of this. Out of all things I've came out of in my life, that's the deepest, darkest hole. Ah. <laughs> Alright, anyways. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, very crazy, um, unexpected. Can't believe this whole place. Um, I never will probably find a place like this ever again. But there's so many gems around this whole world that are abandoned that's so awesome to go to that I still haven't seen yet, which I will eventually get to. I go through my long list and check them off, you know what I'm saying? Because I do love to be a tourist at times, even though I hate tourists. I like to, you know, explore the world and just explore like Paris and London, see the Eiffel Tower, all that stuff. So I gotta just take it slow until I can see everything. But everything you guys tell me to explore, I check it off, I look at it, and I see if it's worthy about exploring. Um, I'm exploring with Josh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Thanks, man. Also, I'm sorry for the lack of not my 
Also, I'm sorry for the lack of knowledge on this place. I'm just, I never studied anything nuclear or anything crazy like that. I never did anything like that, so I don't even know too much about this place, but it's okay. 